here we have to prove that this determinant value is 0. So let's start. Determinant a minus b, b minus c, c minus a, b minus c, c minus a, a minus b. And third row is c minus a, a minus b, b minus c. So now we have to add up column 2 and column 3 in column 1. So is equal to determinant C1 plus C2 plus C3 is our operation to be carried out. So we get first element of the first row is A minus B plus B minus C plus C minus A. And the second element of the first column becomes B minus C plus C minus A plus B A minus B. And the third element will be C minus A plus A minus B plus B minus C. And the second column remains as it is B minus C, C minus A, A minus B. And the third um, column will also remain as it is C minus A, A minus B, B minus C. Now here in this, positive A, negative A are cancelled, negative B, positive B, negative C, positive C. In the same way, all these terms are cancelled with each other in the first column. And so, we get first column as 0, 0, 0, second column as it is B minus C, C minus A, A minus B and third column as it is C minus A, A minus B and B minus C. Since the first column has every element 0, so by the property the value of the determinant is 0. So we have proved the value of this determinant is 0.
Now the third example is using properties of determinants prove that determinant 1a a square 1b b square 1c c square is equal to a minus b into b minus c into c minus a. So let's solve it. So we have taken the determinant and now So we have to take the operation R2 minus R1, R3 minus R1, because the first column is 1, 1, 1. So our first row is 1a a square, and carrying out R2 minus R1, we get in the second row 0 b minus a and b square minus a square and in the third row we get 0 c minus a c square minus a square that is equal to determinant first row as it is 1 a a square and second 0 b minus a and b square minus a square may be written as b plus a b minus a and the third row is 0 c minus a and c square minus a square may be written as c plus a into c minus a determinant closed. Now as you see out of R2 C B minus A common and out of R3 C minus A common so we get B minus A into C minus A determinant 1 A A square 0 1 B plus A 0 1 C plus A determinant closed. Now that is equal to so b minus a c minus a determinant. Now we have to carry out the operation r3 minus r2. So the first row will remain as it is. So we get 1 a a square and second row is operator so it will also remain as it is 0 1 b plus a and in third row we have to carry out the operation r3 minus r2 so 0 minus 0 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and we, we subtract b minus a from c plus a, a will be cancelled and we get c minus b. Now as you see, out of third row c minus b is common, so outside we get b minus a, c minus a and c minus b common out of R3. In determinant we get 1 a a square 0 1 b plus a 0 0 1 1 determinant closed now that is equal to we take minus common out of first bracket so it becomes a minus b and 1 into c minus a as it is and we take minus common out of c minus b so it becomes minus b minus c and if we expand this determinant so we get 1 into 1 minus 0 minus a 0 minus 0 plus a square bracket 0 minus 0 so that is equal to these two minuses will multiply and becomes plus so we get a minus b and b minus c 
into C minus A and simply now example 4 using properties of determinants prove that determinant x x square y z y y square z x z z square x y is equal to bracket x minus y y minus z z minus x into x y plus y z plus z x so the solution is so let's take left hand side of the equation which is this determinant so write down we have written this determinant as it is now we have to multiply r1 by x r2 by y and r2 by z so first we have to write outside x y z because we may multiply and divide together any row by the same number so first row becomes x square x cube x y z second row becomes y square y cube x y z and the third row becomes z square z cube x y z determinant closed now as you see x y z is common out of column 3 so taking x y z common out of c3 we get outside x y z upon x y z and in the determinant we are left with x square x cube 1 y square y cube one and in third row z square z cube one determinant closed as x y z is cancelled by x y z that is equal to so that is equal to determinant and now we have to carry out the operation r2 minus r1 r3 minus r1 since column 3 has the element 1 1 1 so r1 is the operator so it remains the same and r2 becomes y square minus x square y cube minus x cube 0 and third row becomes z square minus x square z cube minus x cube 0 that is equal to x square x cube one and in the second row we may write y square minus x square as y plus x y minus x and yq minus x cube as y minus x 
into y square plus x square plus xy and third element 0. Now third row sorry uh, yes in the third row z square minus x square may be written as z plus x z minus x z q minus x q may be written as z minus x into z square plus x square plus z x and 0. So that is equal to as you see out of R2 y minus x is common and out of R3 z minus x is common. So y minus x z minus x determinant x square x cube 1 and in second row we are left with y plus x y square plus x square plus x y and 0. In third row we are left with z plus x and z square plus x square plus z x 0 determinant closed. is equal to and that is equal to y minus x z minus x determinant now we have to carry out the operation r3 minus r2 so we get in the first row x square x cube and 1 as it is and the second row will remain as it is because this is operator so y plus x y square plus x square plus xy zero. Now in the third row R3 minus R2 we have Z minus Y the second element as Z square minus Y square because X square will be cancelled by minus X square on subtracting and we get third term as ZX and the fourth term as minus xy and the next term is 0 so is equal to y minus x into z minus x determinant x square x cube 1 first row second row will also remain the same y plus x y square plus x square plus x y 0 and third row z minus y and here z square minus y square may be written as z plus y into z minus y. And out of and out of third and fourth term we may take x common so plus x 
in the bracket we are left with z minus y. Next element is 0. Determinant closed is equal to y minus x as it is into z minus x as it is. Determinant first row x square x cube one second row y plus x y square plus x square plus x y zero in third row we have z minus y and now here as you see z minus y is common so z minus y should be taken common out of the second element of the column 3 sorry uh, second element of the row 3 so uh, taking z minus y common we are left with uh, z plus y plus x and the last term is 0 that is equal to y minus x as it is z minus x as it is and out of row 3 we may take z minus y common so determinant x square x cube 1 as row 1 in row 2 we have y plus x y square plus z square plus x y x y 0 and in the row 3 we get 1 x plus y plus z 0 determinant closed that is equal to y minus x into z minus x into z minus y and now expanding the determinant we get x squared this column this row vanish this 0 minus 0 minus x cube into 0 plus 1 x plus y into x plus y plus z so we get x y plus y square plus y z into x square plus x square plus x y plus z x and minus y square minus x square minus x y so that is equal to out of first bracket we may take minus common so we get in the bracket x minus y into minus out of z minus y that is the third bracket we may take x y
plus yz plus z x and rest of the terms are cancelled with each other having opposite signs. So this minus into minus becomes plus we get finally bracket x minus y into y minus z into z minus x into x y plus y z plus z x and that's proved.